Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be setting up our player's health. So as of right now we've got our true first person system set up, the player can walk around, they don't have a weapon and they don't have health or anything like that and that's what we want to fix in today's video. So if you take a quick look at this heads up display that I've got here, you can see we've got health and we've got armour. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is pretty much setting up the variable for both of those so that we can work with them later on and I'm also going to be creating a very simple health bar that we can use and then we're going to replace it with all of these graphics that we've got in this heads up display later on. If you guys do want to download this heads up display once again you can download it on the link in the description from my website everything you need is going to be in there. Anyway without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the engine and get started. So first things first like I said we need to create a armor variable and a health variable we're going to have both of those in our game. So basically when the player's armor drops down to zero it's going to revert to taking down their health. Their armor is going to be regeneratable um, but their health isn't going to be. It's a really cool system that we're going to have going on but for now let's set up those variables and get things working. So what I'm going to do because it's player related I'm going to open up the third person character and then we're going to create two variables inside of here to get this system working. So I'm going to open this up and then on the left hand side you can see in here we've got our variables. We've got my character and a few other bits at the moment. Um, so just create a new variable. We're going to be creating two of these. The first one is going to be health and then the second one is going to be armor just like that. And our values for this are actually going to be floats. So I'm just going to pop float in there just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for armor as well, we want both of these to be floats. Now the reason why we want both of these to be floats is so that we can go all the way from 0 to 1 and have those, you know, little decimal points afterwards. So you can see I've got 0 0.1, if I wanted to do I could do 0 0.01 for 1% or I can do 0.5% for 50%, you know, it, it all adds up, you'll see what, what I'm talking about as we go through the series. So we've got two of these floats here and that's exactly what we wanted. We also need to set the default value. Now the default value for that is going to be one for both of these. Now one is basically going to be representing the full value, the full health, so 100%. And that's pretty much pretty simple really and we're going to be representing that in some of the maths that we do with our blueprints later on. So the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly try and get that value shown on the screen so that we can start adding in the regeneration and all of that good stuff. So the way that I'm going to do this is I've actually got to go ahead and create a HUD blueprint so that we can actually get stuff shown on the screen. Now I'm not going to worry about replacing it with these fancy graphics for now, I'm simply just going to get a bar on there and make it look real simple but working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in my content browser, I'm going to go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. These widget blueprints contain all of our user interface stuff and for now I'm just going to call this um, FPS HUD for now. Just go ahead and create that, open it up. And then once we're in here, we're going to simply add in a progress bar. This progress bar is just going to be down at the bottom middle for now. And I'm going to have two of these, one for my health and then one for my armor. I'm just going to drag these in. I'm going to try and make them roughly the same size. Uh, just like that. And that's real nice, real simple. And what I'm also going to do is also change the fill colors so that I know which one is which. So if I go onto my heads up display here, you can see I've got yellow for the top one and then red for the second one. So I'm going to try and match that over here as well. So what I'm going to do is fill color and opacity for the first one. That's sort of like this yellowy white. And then the second one is going to be a faded red, sort of similar to this. And the way that I can check this to see how it's going to look when it starts to fill is by simply dragging this percentage just like this and I can see that. So let's say I'm going to leave this at say 0.37% for now and put this one up and you can see that we've got our bars and they're really coming to life. However, as of right now, they have no functionality at all and they will not show the player's health. So the way that we're actually going to be showing the player's health is by binding the progress to our variable and it's really simple to do. So with the first 
bar selected. The one for our for our armor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my details panel and then I'm going to go to percentage and when you see where it says bind here, what I'm going to do is click the little drop down and press create binding. What this is allowing us to do now is pretty much create a function that can get a value and then display it on the screen in terms of our progress. So basically all we're doing with this little function is just pretty much getting a value for percentage and then that's just going to update in real time and it's going to work quite nice. So I'm going to go back into my graph and I'm going to get my get percentage and then this one is going to be armor. So what I'm going to do is simply grab this and I'm going to cast to the third person character. Now the reason why I'm casting to the third person character is because that is where our value for armor is actually stored. So as third person character, what I'm going to do is get a reference to armor. Just type it in, get armor, and then just drag it into the return value over here. And now because this is a float already, I don't need to worry about um, changing it or doing any multiplication to change it from 0 to 100 to 0 to, 0 to 1 or anything like that. The default value for progress is 1, uh, sorry, the maximum value for progress is 1 and then the, the smallest one is 0 which is exactly as it is for our armor as well so everything's going to go over really nice and simple. So that's all done on that end. What I also need to do is grab my object wildcard and simply type in get player character so that it can communicate with the player character. And now if we go ahead and compile this, that should be fine. We need to go into our design view and do the same thing for our health now. So what I'm going to do, select the second one, get a binding, create it. And all I'm going to do, similar to the last one, is simply cast to third person character object is simply going to be get player character and then the reference this time because it's the health it's simply just type in get health and that's just how simple it is to set up a progress bar for our health and for our armor it's really really easy to do now it's not really going to get complicated until we start taking away health when we have projectiles firing through the air and all of that good stuff so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go into my design view quickly and I'm actually going to anchor these two bars to the bottom of my screen just so they stay there. And now once I've done that what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pretty much get this heads up display shown on the screen. And the easiest way for me to do that for now, just for now, um, an easy fix is simply going to be to go into the third person character and then what I'm going to do is just create an event for begin play. And then from here, I'm simply going to drag this out and type in create widget. And from there, just grab the class and just type in FPS HUD. For the revert return value, drag that out and simply just tell it to add it to the viewport. Because it's all good and well adding the FPS HUD widget into the memory, but if it's not shown on the screen, it's not going to do anything. And that's where add to viewport comes in. And hopefully now, if we leave this, if we compile it, and then press play, we should get our two bars on the screen here and you can see that's good. And you can see the bars are completely full at the moment because we have full health and we have full armor. We haven't got any any, any enemies taking away any of these values say, so they are 100% what they should be. What I'm going to do just to quickly check to make sure that these bars are working and they are live is I'm going to quickly change the default value for our armor and for our health down to something you know random so for the health I'm going to set this to 0 0.3 and then 0 0.6 for our armor and hopefully our progress bars shouldn't be completely full now so if we press play you can see we've got one of them at a third which is 0 0.3 and the second one is at 0 0.6 so I know that's all working and that's exactly how I want it to be so I'm going to get my default values for armor and health and I'm going to set both of those back up to one and then I'm going to compile it Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for our health system. I hope you have enjoyed it, we've got loads more on the way. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.